<clears throat> All right, Friday night is among us, finally. How come short weeks always seem like long weeks? Hmm. But it is Friday night, so that means it is time for another affordable group break. This week we're doing something a little different with um, featuring a box of racing Hey, Joseph's in the house. Good evening. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Do a box of 1997 Pinnacle Racing, which any 90s Pinnacle product is ought to be a fun rip. Um, looking forward to that. And, uh, and then we'll switch gears and do go back to baseball with 2003 Fleer Platinum. Um, and the more research I did on this, the more it seems like I got a good deal on that box. Because it this is a pricey product. So I'm hoping that will be fun. Looks like we should get at least two uh, game-used memorabilia relic, whatever you want to call them, cards out of the box. Hopefully out of the pinnacle, we'll have some some beautiful Dufex parallels. Joseph, you end up with a ton of teams every week, it seems like, and I really appreciate that. We'll see how the racing goes tonight. If um, I mean, it filled up quick. I know that Ken from Beans Ball Card Blog, I know he was really, really hoping to hit Earnhardt. He bought five slots. I know that's what he wanted. Um, and just by the luck of the draw, it didn't happen. And uh, but um, so that was five of the of the uh, 14 slots or whatnot that we had. Hopefully, um, but the, the rest of them, you know, the rest of the slots, when, when we sold it out the first day, so hopefully that's an indication of some, you know, that you guys are interested in, in doing that, um, because I definitely will try this out again. Uh, I'll try a racing product again. Hopefully the format will work out fine with the 14 or with the uh the random you know the random uh, uh assignments of the teams because otherwise it's you know it's really hard to peg the fairest way to do that But if we when we do racing again, we'll probably do it the same way. But that's not locked in yet. All righty, so hopefully we'll have a few more people wander in here tonight. But if not, that's okay. A lot going on. I saw Blake Jamison was live right now on YouTube. So I think we'll start off with the racing. And I do have my list here. We did have a few trades. I made a trade um, with John. And it looks like Ben Morris and Ken made one trade. But that was it. I didn't see any other trades. So as it stands, Ben Morris has David Green and Ted Musgrave. Ken in his five slots has Bobby Hamilton, Mike Skinner, Jeff Bodine, Mark Martin, Jeremy Mayfield, Terry Labonte, Ward Burton, Derek Cope, Rusty Wallace, and Brett Bodine. 
Paul ends up with Johnny Benson and Dale Jarrett. Joseph, you've got Michael Waltrip and Sterling Marlin. Ben Martin has Jimmy Spencer and Ricky Craven. Uh, John has Bobby Labonte and Ernie Irvin. Roy has Jeff Green, Jeff Gordon, Bill Elliott, and Dale Earnhardt. Rick has Ricky Rudd and Kyle Petty, and I traded with John to get Daryl Waltrup and also have Robbie Gordon. So that's the way that shakes out. Hey, good evening, Paul. Glad you could join us. Ken made a bunch of trades. Hmm, let me double check that then. The uh, Braves are getting their butts whooped by the freaking Dodgers again. So I started to doze off when I, sh when I really should have been getting everything ready. I know a lot of people submitted trade requests to Ken, but I didn't see. I, didn't, I thought I got them all. Bear with me real quick. I'm just checking the comments. Oh, yep, I did overlook that. So Ben Martin and Ken swapped. Let's see, Martin, Mark Martin for Spencer and Craven. So let me update that real quick. Thank you, Joseph. All righty, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Next time I go back to my little hole in the wall shop, they had a ton of NASCAR stuff and a good bit of it was cheap. So I'll have to browse through there, see if there's anything else. All of it was 90s. remember seeing Fleer Ultra, the inaugural year of Fleer Ultra racing. Yeah, Johnny's in the house. Good, good evening, bud. Just getting started here. Twenty packs, 
I think on the list I put 18, but it's 20 packs. Ten cards per pack. I'll slide them up there in the corner. And let's see. Trophy collection parallels are one and nine. Chevy Madness, one and twenty-three. Spellbound, one and twenty-three. So those are just out of the gear. Well, I say guaranteed odds loosely. Artist proofs are one in thirty-three. Team pinnacle are two one and two forty. And there are press plates that are one in one thousand one ninety-nine. So good luck, everybody. All right, so there we go. We got a Dale Earnhardt first card. Turn four. Like I said, Pinnacle. Some nice looking cards. We got a checklist of Rusty Wallace. Roush Racing. Just Ted Musgrave. We have a race review, Dale Jarrett. Oh, there's our uh, base Earnhardt. There's a racing club entry form. If there's one in every pack, we'll, we'll make sure to divide those evenly. We have Ricky Craven. Our third Dell Earnhardt in the pack. We have PE2 Racing, which is Kyle Petty. Oh, I love these cards. Look at that. Is that not sweet? Ernie Irvin, which I traded away. The Texas Tornado. And Henrik Motorsports, Jeff Gordon. Another Dale Earnhardt turn four. Uh oh. It's just crappy correlation. Same checklist. Same Ted Musgrave. Yep. Dale Jarrett. Earnhardt. Okay. There's some variety. Kyle Petty. Turn four Earnhardt. These cards are just oh so slightly sticking together, but not to the place where there, there's any damage. It's gotta love 90s slick UV coating. There's Terry Labonte. American Motorsports or American Equipment Motorsports. And that is David Green. And then we've got a new faces, David Green. First one we've seen of that little subset. <laughs> yeah, you, you're welcome. Johnny for the trade. All right, we got Ward Burton. So this is uh, Mark Martin, turn four. Dale Jarrett. 
Jeremy Mayfield. It's a Dell Jarrett turn four. Sterling Marlin. Ernie Irvin race review. Johnny Benson. Joe Gibbs Racing, which is Bobby Labonte. And another Kyle Petty uh, Texas Tornado. Ants in the shower. Ugh. I've got to get out in the yard, mow the grass, and clean the car up. That's my Saturday activity. I hope I don't have any flying ants to attack me or anything. All righty, we got another Ward Burton, Mark Martin, Dale Jarrett, Jeremy Mayfield, Dale Jarrett. We have Wood Brothers Racing, which is Michael Waltrip. Where's Dale Waltrip? Mike Skinner Race Review. This is a Brett Bodine. Uh, Earnhardt, Texas Tornado. And Mike Skinner. Kyle Petty. There we go. There's my Daryl Waltrip. Terry Labonte race review. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Larry Hendrick Motorsports. Steve Grissom. Mark Martin. Got Earnhardt, turn four, Terry Labonte, David Green, another David Green, new faces, and Michael Waltrip. Yeah, Travis Carter Motorsports, the Camel Racing Team, that is Jimmy Spencer. You have uh, Daryl Waltrip. Their checklist. Morgan McClure Racing. Is that Irvin? Sterling Marlin, excuse me. All right, we got an upside down Ricky Craven. So is this a parallel? Looks like it is. Looks like we got a trophy collection. Man, look how nice these are. Even today, I think these Dufex parallels are some of the nicest looking parallels of a, at least the non-chrome card variety. Followed by 
a uh, Bobby Hamilton Texas Tornado. We have a Mark Martin, another Hamilton, Ricky Rudd race review. Robert Yates Racing, Ernie Urban. Yeah, trophy collection and museum collection, same same thing. Bobby Labonte, there's a Mark Martin, Texas Tornado, there's a Jeff Fodon, there's a Rainbow Warrior, Jeff Gordon, Mark Barton Race Review, Penske Racing, that's Rusty Wallace, followed by Rusty Wallace, Turn 4. Hendrick Motorsports, Ricky Craven, the Bobby Hamilton, Texas Tornado, Roush Racing, Mark Martin. Anybody watch any of the Coca-Cola 600 last weekend? My younger brother drove up, met us at the beach last weekend, and uh, he was he's more of a current racing fan. He was keeping me in, in, in the loop as the race went on. I watched some of it last weekend. All right, start off with a Mark Martin, Texas Tornado. Bobby Labonte, Jeff Bodine. Uh oh, we got a Spellbound. Jeff Gordon, Spellbound. It's a nice looking card. Looks like it spells out his last name. So there's the R in Gordon. David Green, Ricky Craven, Dale Earnhardt Race Review. There's a Kyle Petty. And another Ernie Irvin, Texas Tornado. background music or something but I'm afraid to get a copyright strike it's quiet BDR Motorsports who is that Brett Bodine it's the base card for Ernie Irvin Adele Jarrett Texas Tornado
Bill Davis Racing, which is Ward Burton, the Rusty Wallace. Hamilton, Rudd, Irvin, Green, and Craven. We are halfway with this pack. We are halfway through this box. And since we've seen a lot of the cards already, I'll try to pick up the pace a little bit. But it doesn't help that the cards are just ever sticking enough to be annoying. So Martin. Brett Bodon. Irvin, Jarrett, Ward Burton, Jeff Gordon, Sterling Marlin, Ernie Irvin, Johnny Benson, and Bobby Labonte. Bill Elliott, Earnhardt, Terry Labonte, Bobby Labonte, Michael Waltrip, Texas Tornado, Ricky Rudd, Bobby. Robbie Gordon, Earnhardt, and Earnhardt. The nameplate relics in this Platinum are freaking awesome. It's probably one of my favorite relic designs. So, I hope we pull one. I hope we get a good one for you guys. But I just hope we pull one because they are beautiful. Those are beautiful cards. The following year, I didn't care for. I like the way they look in the uh, 2003 set. Elliot, Earnhardt, Terry Labonte. Bobby Levante, Terry Levante, <laughs> Brett Bodine, Earnhardt, Johnny Benson, Jeff Green, and Earnhardt. Daryl Waltrip, Bill Elliott, Terry Labonte, Jimmy Spencer, Derek Cope, there's a one we haven't seen yet, New Faces, Mike Skinner. Mike Skinner, Earnhardt, Bodine, and Earnhardt.
Jimmy Spencer, Derek Cope, Rusty Wallace, Robbie Gordon, Bill Elliott, Jeremy Mayfield, Terry Labonte turn four, Rusty Wallace, Rusty Wallace turn four, and Ricky Craven. Rusty Wallace race review. Oh, come on. Uh, Robbie Gordon. Jimmy Spencer. Rusty Wallace checklist. Sterling Marlin. Johnny Benson. Scooby Doo car, Jeff Green, Earnhardt, Jeremy Mayfield, and a Terry Labonte. All right, getting to the end. Got you a pack wrapper set aside, Joseph. For this just in case Jarrett Petty Waltrip Labonte Steve Grissom Earnhardt, Levante, David Green, David Green, Michael Waltrip. Okay, no wrapper. This would make a nice looking set. Correlation. I guess that's the bad thing about 100, 150 card sets. Is you're going to get a lot of duplicates. And then you're going to see a lot of the same order of the duplicates in the packs. Which I understand may not make for the best viewing experience. Musgrave, Jarrett, Earnhardt, Earnhardt, Kyle Petty, the Texas Tornado, Urban, Gordon, and Marlin. Second thought, I should take a wrapper. Okay. I got one sitting here on the computer for you. Rusty Wallace. More Earnhardt. More Wallace.
Musgrave. Jarrett. Kyle Petty. Earnhardt. Labonte. Dave Green, Dave Green. Two packs. There's been, uh, it seems like there's been a, maybe a driver or two that we haven't seen a lot of, but for the most part, yeah, I, I would imagine if we were to collate this, we probably would have the entire set. Ward Burton, Mark Martin, Jarrett, Mayfield, Earnhardt. Irvin, Benson, Earnhardt, Petty, Labonte. Now, I'm surprised we haven't gotten more hits out of this. I mean, trophy collections are one and nine, and we've only pulled one. Spellbound, we did beat the odds at one and 23, just barely. But I would think we'd see another trophy collection, maybe a Chevy Madness. But you know, so far, not even a uh, artist proof. Earnhardt. Burton, Martin, Jarrett, Mayfield, Michael Waltrip, Mike Skinner, Earnhardt, Skinner, and Musgrave. So there are several drivers that didn't appear to show up quite as often, at least the dupes. Of. But if you're looking to build a set, probably have the whole set out of one box. This box wasn't, I'd say it's kind of uncommon. I haven't seen a lot. I mean, I haven't been looking either, but. But we did get two inserts. We got the trophy collection, Ricky Craven, which looks really nice in hand. A little bit of little cardboard dust on it. And then uh, we got the spellbound. Jeff Gordon. The nice thing with modern racing product are the hits because the tire relics are super cool. And you've got the fire suits and you've got pieces of the car. I think uh, they've gotten really creative with racing relics. Yeah, I don't know how many people actually break racing product. I know that uh, Ben Martin over in his group, um, he has done, um, I think he did maybe a, a NASCAR prison break last year or um, maybe it was Don Russ. But yeah, the, the new, I, I'm not as familiar with the drivers, a lot of the current drivers. I know the names, but I, I mean, beyond that, I don't, you know, I don't follow NASCAR. 
I only followed it before because of my dad. But the product, the racing product, I bought a couple of Don Rice racing packs and they're, they are cool. I like what they've done with them. All right. So let's switch gears. Let's get back to the wheelhouse with some baseball. 2003 Fleer Platinum. It is a hobby, hobby exclusive, actually. Uh, we've got three different configurations, which kind of makes this stand out. Um, there are 14 wax packs, which have 10 cards each. Memorabilia cards fall one in 14 packs. So we should get one hit out of the wax for sure. Jumbo, there are four jumbo packs with 25 cards per pack. Memorabilia cards fall one in eight. So we got a 50-50 chance there. And then there's one rack pack of 45 cards. Memorabilia cards fall one and two. So between the jumbo and the rack, we should get our other um, our other hit because it does say on average find two game use memorabilia cards per box. I thought I have opened this before. But I'm not so sure. I think Fleer has done this before with the the different configuration. I think they've done that with another one of their sets. Three for three. That would be nice. All right. So let's see what this looks like inside. Okay, so we've got our Rat Pack here. Very cool. And we've got our Jumbo Packs. It's cool, the Fleer Crown is open so you can see the card through it. So there's those four, and then we've got the 10 card regular wax packs. So here's four packs there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. So there is the empty tray or empty box. All right, so where do we start? Do we start, do we mix it up? Do we just kind of maybe open two of the wax and then a jumbo, mix it all up? We go we'll go for the rat pack first. What do you think? Yeah, we should see a hit in the, in the, in the uh, wax. And then it's a 50-50 between where the, where the other one will show up between the jumbo and the rack. So mix it up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So we'll start. We'll do a couple of, couple of wax, and then we'll move to a jumbo. It's a 200-card basic set, which includes um, 20 unsung heroes and 15 prospects. It says universal. Uh, those are one and four in wax packs. Um, and then there are pro there are five different prospects that are wax packs exclusives that are one in 12. So it tells you right now, if you're going to build this set, it's going to be a pain in the butt. The parallel is platinum finish, which are glossy versions. If I'm not mistaken, number to hundred each inserts also include Guts and Glory, or which are one and four in these packs. Scouting Report, or are numbered to 400. There are 20 Platinum Portraits, which are one in 20 in these packs. Heart of the Order, are one in 12 in Wax. Game Use Memorabilia cards include the Scouting Report, which I think are little like booklet cards. Platinum uh, Portraits, Jersey versions are one in 86. 
Platinum portraits include a patch, number to 100, Barry Bonds Chasing History dual swatch, number to 250, and Barry Bonds Chasing History five player swatches, number to 25. So looks like you have different odds for everything in the different kind of packs. Here we go. So our first card is Aaron Boone of the Reds. Tony Batista, Orioles. Here's one of the prospects featuring what the uh, 80 set 90 Fleer design. Bobby Jinx. I believe really that's a short print. Palmero for the Rangers. Ordonez for the White Sox. Brad Radke, Twins. Kip Wells, Pirates. Ramon, uh, Ramon Ortiz for the Angels. Javier Vasquez for the Expos. And Tim Salmon for the Angels. The original fish. Barry Larkin, Reds, Josh Bard, Indians. And here's our first insert, Guts and Glory, Jason Giambi. Followed by Kerry Wood, Cubs. Gabe Kapler for the Rockies. Didn't know he played for the Rockies. Rodrigo Lopez, Orioles, Matt Morris, Cardinals, Benito Santiago for the Giants, Sean Burroughs, Padres, Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. Checklist. Armando Benitz, the Mets, Bobby Abreu, Phillies, Brian Giles, Pirates, Eric Chavez, Athletics, got a Richie Sexton, Unsung Heroes for the Brewers. Yeah. Edgar Alfonso, there's a pull holes. Jared Sandberg for the Rays, Edgar Renteria, Cardinals, and Bubba Trammell, Padres. All right, so let's move on. That's three in, so let's move on to one of the jumbos. 25 cards. The unsung heroes and prospects are one and two in these, as opposed to one and four in the wax. The jumbo pack exclusive prospects are one and six. Guts and Glory are one and two. Port Platinum Portraits are one and ten. Heart of the Order, one and six. Overall odds for a insert are one and eight. So nameplates are our jumbo pack exclusives. So at least we'll probably get different kind of hits. So let's hope. Let's hope we get a we get a good nameplate. I got you, Joseph. Yep. Can you see that? Right there in the middle. And the name these nameplates have rounded edges because they look like little license plates. So we will uh hopefully we got a good one. We have Mike Piazza, Pat Burrell for the Phillies. 
Jack Jones, Twins, Cliff Floyd, Sox, Red Sox, Edgar Martinez for the Mariners, Andrew Jones for the Braves, the Brett Myers prospects for the Phillies, Jeff Jenkins, Brewers, Mariano Rock, Rob, uh, Rob, I cannot talk tonight. Mariano for the Yankees. Jeremy Giambi, Phils. Nice action shot there of Fercal. And we will come back to the hit. Just set that down. Kip Wells, Ramon Ortiz, Rodrigo Lopez, Matt Morris, Benito, Ricardo, Jorge. There's a Paul LaDuca, Unsung Heroes for the Dodgers. Carlos Beltran, Royals, Unsung Heroes, Aubrey Huff, Rays, Doug Kenowitz for the Twins, and Orlando Hernandez for the Yankees. And our first hit is Barry Bonds. Look at that patch. Number 223 of 251. <laughs> and the collective groans go out. <laughs> Yeah, Shane Salmonson grabbed the grabbed the Giants, and he uh, when he when he submitted his payment tonight, he's like, "Pull me some bonds." But yeah, these um, these nameplate cards. I'm I've for for a while I've been kind of off and on picking them up here and there um, to do you know working on the set. It's uh not not anything that I actively seek out necessarily though. Um, but uh, they are super nice cards. All righty. But maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll have a hit in the rack as well. Somewhere in these wax packs, we should see our uh, uh, another hit. So let's pick up there. We have Juan Pierre for the Marlins. We have Chris Richard for the Orioles. Sean Green, Dodgers. Christian Guzman for the Twins. Mike Sweeney, Unsung Heroes for the Royals. Jose Hernandez, Brewers, Chanho Park, Rangers, Kurt Schilling, Diamondbacks, Rob Nin, Giants, Trot Nixon, Red Sox. Now, I think all the nameplates are, are patches, which is one of the reasons I, th you know, I think they stand out so much. This pack felt weird. We've got something. I'm going to come back to that. Just going to lay it right there. Haven't gone through it. We'll hit that. Hey, good evening, Mark. Mark Pryor. Cubbies. Elmer Dessens. Reds. Oh, there you go. We got you a... Platinum finish parallel, Johnny Todd Zeal. 45 of 100. Moises Salou for the Cubbies. Here's that Eric Gagne, Unsung Heroes for the Dodgers. Shannon Stewart, Jays. Rob McCowick, something like that. Pirates. Manny for the Red Sox, Jason Veritek for the Red Sox, and a Randy Johnson for the Diamondbacks. Oh, good. You needed it. Sweet. Sweet. 
All right, let's go back to uh, do another jumbo. Tino for the Cardinals, Sean Casey for the Reds, Jambi for the Yankees, Joe Borchard, White Sox, Odalis Perez, Dodgers, Phil Nevin, Padres, uh, Guts and Glory, Darren Erstad for the Angels. That's your second one of those. Austin Kearns, Unsung Heroes, Bobby Hill for the Cubbies, Paul Canerco, Unsung Heroes for the White Sox, Jose Valentin, White Sox, Tory Hunter, Twins, uh, Damian, Damian Moss, Unsung Heroes for the Braves, Another pool holes, Cardinals, Sandberg for the Rays, Jose Hernandez for the Brewers, Chanho Park, Schilling, uh, Durazo for the Diamondbacks, Jason Kendall, Pirates, Garcia Parra, Sox, Scott Rowland, Cardinals, AJ Burnett for the Fish, CJ or CC Sabathia for the Tribe, and Larry Walker for the Rockies. No Jeter yet. Actually, haven't been a whole lot of Yankees. We did get that Giambi Guts and Glory insert. All right, let's go back to the wax. Open a couple more of these, and then we'll hit the Rat Pack. Freddie Garcia, Mariners, Josh Beckett, Marlins, Omar Infante, prospects for the Tigers. It's a former Brave. Lance Berkman for the Strohs. We have a Jose Vidro, Unsung Heroes for the Expos. Kevin Brown, Dodgers, Jeff Kent, Giants. Klesko for the Padres. What the heck is going on there? Like a baseball bat nunchuck. Modern day Michelangelo. Barry Zito and Jorge Julio for the Orioles. Finish off the jumbos. Okay, we can do that. Save the rack for last. All right, guys. Your wish is my command. Ellis Burks, Robert Fick, Russell Bronion, Matt Williams, Erstad, Orlando Hudson, Prospects for the Blue Jays, and a Carl Crawford, Prospects for the Rays. So we got two short prints stuck back to back. Chipper Jones, Unsung Heroes, Omar Vizquel, Mike Hampton. Braves, even though he's in a Rockies uni. Juan Gonzalez for the Rangers. Derek Lee, Marlins. John Smoltz, Sheffield. Preston Wilson for the Rockies in a fish uni. So he went from one expansion to the other. Uh, Kazuhishi Ishii for the Dodgers. Joe Randa, Royals. Roberto Alomar for the Mets. Heard he's in some hot water here recently. There's our Jeter base. We have an Eric Hensky Unsung Heroes for the Blue Jays. <laughs> I can't remember. Vernon Wells for the Jays. Unsung Heroes, Mike Loyal for the Fish. Vasquez, Salmon, and Sean Burrows. And our final jumbo. Carlos Pena Tigers. 
Barry Bonds, Derek Lowe, Red Sox, Trevor Hoffman, Padres, Kazuhiro Suzaki for the Mariners, another checklist, and we got a Platinum Portraits for Pedro, Red Sox. There are multiple levels of that insert. And we've got a Guts and Glory. So they used a different color on those from the ones out of the wax. Jeff Conine for the Orioles. Bobby Higgins and Tigers. Glavin. Jermaine Dye for the Athletics. So Jason Jennings, Unsung Heroes for the Rockies. Juan and Carcion for the Fish. A Rod for the Rangers. Brett Boone, Mariners. Roy Halliday for the Jays. Al Leiter for the Mets. Shannon Stewart, Jays. Rob for the Pirates. Soriano, Yankees. Edgar Renteria, Cardinals. Bubba Trammell for the Padres. Rob Nin, Giants. Trot Nixon for the Sox. And a Darren uh, Eckstein, Unsung Heroes. All right, let's go back to the wax. Yeah, Johnny, you're right. There's there are there is a relic parallel of those platinum portraits. Vladimir Nunez for the fish. Michael Barrett expose. Oh, got a Pudge Rodriguez guts and glory. I don't know if. Ben Morris is with us tonight. He'll be happy to see that. Luis Gonzalez for the D-backs. Raul Abanez, Royals. Biggio for the Astros. Castillo, Marlins. There's a Fred McGriff for the Cubbies. Another Paula Duca. And Carlos Beltran. Royals. Here's the base version of Zeal. Ramos Ramirez for the Bucks. Jason Phillips. Prospect for the Mets. Billy Koch for the White Sox. Maddox. Dave Roberts for the Dodgers. Steve Cox for the Rays. Vladimir Guerrero exposed. Aubrey Huff. Rays and Doug for the Twins. All right, we got a thicky here. I go through the pack, come back to it. What do we do? This is more than likely our second of the two guaranteed hits. And then we still have this other pack that it looked like there was something in there too to go back to. And we've got an insert right on top. Come back to it. All right. So I'm going to lay this pack upside down on this other pack we're going to come back to. So it looks like we got an insert and a hit. Randall Simon, Pirates, Tim Hudson, A's, Andy Van Hecken, Prospect for the Tigers, Armando Rios, Pirates, Mike Lieberthal for the Phillies, Jeff Bagwell, Astros, Mike Williams, Bucks, Hesiop Choi, Cubbies, Garcia Parr for the Sox, and Scott Rowland, Cardinals. Yeah, I've got, we've got this one, and then there's the pack that it's sitting on 
I saw something. It wasn't a thick card, but it did look like it was, it stood out as being different. So we'll come back to those. Randall Simon is the guy that got in trouble for hitting one of the racing sausages with a bat. <laughs> Uh, if I'm not mistaken, he was in the Braves organization. Yep. Huh, he's from Curacao. All righty. Got a Mark Burley for the White Sox, Mark Kotze for the Padres. Got an Ichiro Guts and Glory. Garrett Anderson. Troy Gloss, Jim Tomei for the Phils, Ben Sheets for the Brewers, Kevin Millwood for the Braves, A.J. Burnett for the Fish, and a C.C. CC Sabathia. Bernie Williams for the Yankees. Randy Wynn for the Mariners. And got another Platinum Portraits. This time it is Alfonso Soriano for the Yankees. Olaru, Unsung Heroes. Mike Cameron, Mariners. Delgado Jays. J.D. Drew for the Cardinals. Jose Cruz Jr., Blue Jays, Larry Walker, and another Eric Kinski. All right, this is the last wax pack before we go back to those two that we set aside. Got a Kenny Lofton for the Giants, Brian Lawrence for the Padres. Johnny Damon, platinum finish for the Red Sox. Numbered 65 of 100. Robin Ventura for the Yanks. Matt Clement, Cubs. Steve Finley, D-backs. There's a King Griffey Jr. for the Reds. Andy Pettit, Yankees. Vernon Wells, Jays. And a Mike Lowell for the fish. Yep, clean shaven for the Red Sox. Maybe he liked not having all that facial hair. So that's two of the platinum finishes. All right, so moving that pack that think has the hit in it. Let's go back to this one that I saw something. Uh, the checklist, get that out of the way. All right, Eric Milton. Twins. Jamie Moyer for the Mariners. Ah, scouting report. That's what I saw. Yep, so these open up. This is looks like Ichiro. Number 29 of 400. Does look like there is a light crease right there on the back corner. Out of the pack, unfortunately. All right, it's got a little tacky or something that is not wanting to let the card open. And I don't want to, I don't want to hurt the card. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm sure you can go to trading card database and find your image of the card. 
but I believe Joseph, didn't you have the uh, Mariners? So I'll let you, I'll let you open that yourself. Finish out the pack. We had Jimmy Rollins for the Phils. Ah, oh, there's Ichiro's base card. Brett Boone, Halliday, Lighter, Demetri Young for the Tigers, and Joe Critty for the White Sox. All righty. So, first off, we have a heart of the order for the Oakland Athletics. We'll get a lot of love in the break. So, get Tejada, Chavez, and Die. There's a relic version of these as well. But it basically just throws the relic right over the names that they have circled. And we have Daryl Ward for the Astros. Move on for the Mets. Ben Grieve for the Rays. Brian Jordan for the Dodgers. Sammy Sosa, Cubbies. Orlando Hernandez, Yankees. Jason Kendall for the Pirates. And our maybe our final hit, we don't know, but our second hit is. Platinum Portraits Relic of Adam Dunn. Just a gray piece of game-worn jersey. These are not numbered. Yet Brian, Brian Jordan spent a couple of seasons out west with the Dodgers. He started with the Braves, went to... St. Louis, I've got a little PC of him going as well, but yeah. I've had some people on Trading Card Database send me some nice Brian Jordans as a Dodger recently, as a matter of fact. All right, so that brings us to... Our 45 card jumbo pack, which memorabilia cards fall one and two. Yep, he was a falcon. All right, so unsung heroes, prospects one and one in racks. The Rat Pack exclusive prospects are one and two. Guts and Glory are one and one in rack. So we should get another one of those inserts. Scouting report number to 400. Platinum portraits are one and five. Heart of the Order are one and three. The Heart of the Order are the Rat Pack exclusive memorabilia cards number to 400. And it says overall for game used are one and two. So good luck. We'll open it from the bottom to start. Okay, this is interesting. The stack of cards in each little section here is also wrapped. Just go ahead and pull all three out. Got cards everywhere. Doesn't look like we're going to get a third hit. All right. So these are darn shrink wrapped. Come 
Come on, Fleer, why you got to make this so difficult? Man, they don't make these easy to get into. Chris Richard, Orioles. There's a Platinum Portraits, Josh Beckett for the fish. Andy Van Hecken, Prospects, Chipper Jones, Omar, Unsung Heroes, Hampton, Juan, Rodrigo, Matt Morris, Santiago, Alfonso, Javier Lopez. I don't think I have that one. Ben Broussard for the Indians. Mark Mulder for the Athletics. And a Mark Grace for the Diamondbacks. Yeah, I don't like these. <laughs> the plastic is just, there we go. We got a Brian Giles for the Bucks. Juan Pierre, Marlins. Ah. Second, Ichiro, Guts and Glory. Paul Canerco. Juan, uh, Jose Valentin. Uh, Valentin. Tori Hunter. Damian Moss. Pettit. Radke. Wells. Ortiz. Mondesi for the Yankees. Now that I don't remember. Long time Dodger. Two and a half seasons with the Blue Jays. Coming over to the Yankees in 02. I don't remember that. But Young Hung Kim for the D-backs. Percival Angels. I've done Reds. And the tail end of the Rat Pack includes Armando Benitez, Benitez, Bobby Abreu, a John Webb prospects for the Cubs, Jeremy Giambi, Phillies, another Fur Cow for the Braves, Austin Kearns for the Reds, Bobby Hill, Cubs, JD Drew, Jose Cruz, Finley, Griffey, Carlos Lee. Todd Hilton for the Rockies. Eric Karras for the Cubs. And Junior Spivey Diamondbacks. So we've got a big mound of cards here. Base cards at least. I did get a dupe of the first checklist that includes the base set and the part of the guts and glory insert. Anybody need this one? First one to speak up, I'll throw it in your stack. All righty, let's do a quick recap. So we have two of the platinum finish. We have, oops, wrong way, Todd Zeal and Johnny Damon. These are printed on a little bit thicker cardstock than the base cards as well. Zeal is 45 of 100, and Damon is 65 of 100. Mark, okay. 
I'll, uh, I'll put that in your stack. The heart of the order, or excuse me, platinum portraits. We had Soriano, Martinez, Beckett, and then we had the Adam Dunn uh, game jersey version. I'll have to check trading card database, see if any of these need scans. And then the Guts and Glory, we had two each rows. And uh, Pudge Rodriguez, Tori Hunter, Darren Erstad, and Jason Giambi. The Heart of the Order is the uh, Oakland Athletics. Scouting Report is the Ichiro, numbered 29 of 400. And the big hit was the nameplates, Barry Bonds. Hate him or, you know, despite what you feel about him, it's a beautiful card. 223, a 251. I'm not sure if there's any significance to the 251. Barry needs a scan. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Nice. All righty. Well, that about wraps it up for this week. Sorry for the little bit longer break. Those racing cards sticking together sure didn't help. Oh, I have three of the first checklist. So Joseph claimed one, Mark claimed one, Johnny, Paul, if you're still watching, anybody else need the uh, second checklist? It's done on that like um, canvas type. All righty. Can I move some stuff around here? All right, Johnny, you got that last checklist. All right, so I've not given next week a whole lot of thought just because I was focused on trying to replenish my stock um, because after... Um, after this this upcoming week that was going to about clean me out. I've got a box or two that I'm holding on to for um, later in the year. But um, let's see. Let me grab something. Let me roll my chair back. Hold on one second. Before we get to that, I almost forgot. Um, I don't remember who. So somebody sent me two packs of racing. We have a jumbo pack of Racers Choice, Pinnacle Racers Choice, and a pack of Pinnacle Action Pack. This is 96. This one is 96. So they're both 96 products, so a year earlier. So those are going to be freebies for uh, the individuals who were in that racing break. And I'm sorry, I meant to I put them on top to remember and I still forgot. So let's take a look at these real quick. We have a Mark Martin. This is the action pack. Another Mark Martin on the mark. A Johnny Benson Jr. Speed Machines, Dale Earnhardt. A 
and Bill Elliott on some kind of earth mover. Wives camera action. <laughs> okay. And the jumbo pack of Pinnacle Racers Choice. Yeah, action pack cards are, are thicker. Um, you can actually see, uh, you probably can't really see it on camera, but, uh, but it's like two cards that are like a large card that's folded in half. But no. All right, so there you go. So right here on the back of the card, you can see this is the seam. So it's one longer card that's folded over on each side, which makes them thicker. They're not my cup of tea, but I can remember back in the 90s, I thought that was the jam just because it was so different. All righty, so let's take a look at these. Uh, Johnny Benson, rookie. Ward Burton. Ted Musgrave. Earnhardt. Jeff Gordon. Well, he's all black cards. These will be prone to chipping, I would imagine. Bill Elliott. Nice, Daryl Waltrip. An official, Elmo Langley. There's an Earnhardt car. Morgan Shepard. Ricky Craven, Rusty Wallace, oh come on, Rick Mast, Bobby Labonte, Derek Cope, and Sterling Marlin, so of the two, the action packed are a lot nicer. These definitely, probably, definitely, probably would have some bricking if you were to go a full hobby box out of those. So just buyer beware. <laughs> Elmo Langley super collector out there. All right. So next week, I think what we'll do now, hopefully this weekend, if time allows, um, I'm going to get one of my daughters to help me film, um, but I'm going to do a quick little unboxing of the mail that showed up today. That will include product for upcoming weeks. I've got one more product coming in the mail, um, but I've got four, I think it's four boxes that are in there so that will be for the upcoming weeks next week i think we will finally get around because i kept delaying this we'll do the um 1998 pinnacle the power pack variation of the packaging let me move these pinnacle cards i mean clear cards away um, the power packs and, uh, the, the, the kind of the gimmick with these is each power pack includes a three and a half by five power pack card, um, in addition to 21 regular cards. Um, the 98 pinnacle is the last year that pinnacle brands put out a set. Um, the power pack variety does not seem to show up near as often as the other ones um but uh museum collection i believe fall a little 
are more in our favor. They're one in three. And, you know, of course, we know how beautiful those are. The Spellbound, kind of like the, what we just pulled from the Pinnacle Racing, is one in seven. Hit it here are one in nine. Epics, which was a really nice set that ran through all of the, the um, Pinnacle Brands product that year, are one in nine. Artist Proofs are one in 17. So we should get a little bit of a variety there. And then Press Plates are one in uh, 1,250. So that's the long shot for this box. So I'm excited about this. It's a beautiful um, product. I think Pinnacle went out with a bang for their last set. And uh, and then I think the being that it's the Power Pack, which I don't know really what those cards look like, that's kind of the icing on the cake. Can you still win the million? Well, you can, you can hope you can. Oh, hey, Ken. See you snuck in here. Hey, Ken, I would highly advise you to hit up Roy, um, who stole your Earnhardt uh, from you in the Pinnacle break. There were lots of dupes of, uh, of Earnhardt. If you want to go back, uh, it may not be the most exciting video to watch at the beginning, but uh, once we get it posted, but there are lots of dupes there. So you might want to hit him up and see if he's willing to, to share some of those. And if he is, let's just, just let me know. Okay. Roy's a good guy. I'm sure he might be willing to work with you. All right. So 98 pinnacle, and then let's jump ahead to the 2000s and we'll do the hobby box of 2002 Don Russ. Uh, da, 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 um, not as nice uh, as the Don Russ World uh, World Series that we did, uh, but there are uh, still some pretty cool looking cards. Career and season stat lines, um, uh, pretty cool parallels there. Diamond Kings turned into course to a parallel. I mean, to an insert set along the way. Elite Series. There's. Autograph versions of those, autograph versions of production line, all time Diamond Kings, Long Ball Leaders, Jersey Kings, Studio Series, Bat Kings, all sorts of goodies that we may have a chance at. But I was a fan of Don Rush growing up. If you like if you like this, then keep watching. Because yeah. So that's what we'll do next week. We'll get these up Monday night when we normally get them up. Um, so after I try, after I get everything sorted, um, I will work on getting these posts created. We'll get those up nine o'clock Monday evening. So set your calendar um, if that's something you want to be a part of. So that's what we got on tap, and then. Like I said, if I can get that video filmed and uploaded, um, I'll upload it here to the YouTube channel for this weekend. So if you just kind of want to take a peek, I don't always do that. But if you want to take a peek at products that will be coming in future weeks, then um, uh, check out that video once it is ready. But it is 1130 here on the East Coast. I'm going to sign out and uh, I will catch you guys back next week. If you need anything, hit me up. If you're ready to ship, hit me up. If you got any other suggestions of product, let me know. I did take a look at the new Finest that came out today, but my LCS wanted $250 a box. And that just kind of goes against my whole affordable group break <laughs> uh, moniker. Um, so... Uh, yeah. Cardinals had a, might have an epic comeback. I don't even know what the, I don't even know if the Braves Dodgers game is over. It was over in my opinion when I came up nine to five. Well, at least the Braves came back a little bit. All right, guys. Well, as always, thank you much for your support and I will catch you back here next week. Y'all have a great weekend.